What is going on, everybody? It is February 6th, Tuesday slate. We've got eight games tonight, including Warriors Thunder, which is pretty awesome. Um, Raptors Celtics, awesome as well, assuming that Kyrie can play. Um, I have him in for right now. Uh, and Sixers Wizards. So three really good games to watch tonight, just independent of fantasy. Uh, not the best night last night. Uh, I put up 277, uh, not enough to get over the cut line, um, 303rd out of 914. So upper half, I guess, is you know something to be happy about. Um, Lillard was fine at 63%. Corey Joseph was atrocious. Uh, I'm happy with Gary Harris. He hit value at 11%. You know, I can't be too mad about that. Shot the ball really well. Bradley Beal was... I, I don't get Bradley Beal. Like, anytime I think he's in a good spot, he just bombs. Indiana, without its point guard and their shooting guard, Bradley Beal, the main tenant of the offense, just nothing. Just couldn't... I, I don't know. Blows my mind. Obviously, Lance was exceptional. Um, I was hoping for more out of Josh Richardson. I thought that was a really good matchup, and that was going to be my differentiation piece. Um, he was fine. He, sh again, shot the ball really well. Just He didn't do anything else. Um, just couldn't fill out the stat sheet. Uh, Dwight Powell was fine. You know, Portis was amazing. And, uh, you know, AD underperformed. Um, it was good to see Drew Holiday play well. I'm happy that I saw, like, you know, that was something that I liked at least. Uh, Rodney Hood, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to find him because he was probably barely owned, but went bananas. I wish I would have uh, had a piece of that still, but, you know, what can you do? When they said he was on a minutes limit, you can't look that direction. So, you know, one day down, another one to go. Let's, uh, let's just dive into it. First up, Orlando Magic hosting the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs are seven-point favorites um, on the road, actually. So Magic 107.5 implied total is seventh. Um, no Aaron Gordon tonight. Oh, I never refresh that I'm, when I'm supposed to. Oh, tell me if this is going to be really slow. No, oh, no, we're good. Okay, so Evan Fournier, 6,300 on FanDuel, 5,700 on DK. Um, I'm okay with it. Cleveland's pretty bad on D. That Fournier price on DraftKings, actually, 5700 is is pretty tasty. Um, he's just going to be a straight three for me. But that's a really good matchup for Fournier. Same for Hazonia. Um, oh, I have that backwards, too. Three, delete. So Hazonia is 5000 on FanDuel, 4500 on DK. Um, man, you can make a case that he could be a two. Yeah, you know what? I think I like that, actually. Cleveland, just so bad on D. Hazonia's got the price. He's going to be, you know, aggressive. What's Hazonia's usage rate without Aaron Gordon? Ah. Oh my god, that's twice. Let's try this again. I need to see if I need to bump that a little bit. Uh, magic. Gordon. He gets up to 20, so... What do I have him at? Sonia, 17.6. Let's just bump him to... eighteen five. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. Yeah, I think he's a straight two. Alfred Payton, uh, 6,900 on FanDuel, 6,700 on DK. So you're looking for 35. Um, 
Don't love that price on FanDuel. I'm going to say that he is a 4 on FanDuel and a 3 on DK. Jonathan Simmons just not playing very well lately. 48 and 47. Um, I'm good. I don't think that there's anything else I really want to take a look at. No. Biombo 20 or 5200 on FanDuel, 5000 on DK. Just because Cleveland's so bad against centers, um, I'm going to say that he's a 5 or a 4 rather. Go to Cleveland. Cavs, 114.5 implied total is second. Orlando, atrocious on defense. All signs point to this being a great game for LeBron James. Um, you know, you've got Golden State and Oklahoma City. A lot of star power on the floor. Hard to tease through that. You know, no Devin Booker against the Lakers. Um... You know, small forward, always pretty difficult. I would expect LeBron to be pretty chalky, but as matchups go, this is about as good as it's going to get. He's a two for me. Um, Isaiah Thomas, 6,500 on FanDuel, 6,200 on DraftKings. We're looking at, you know, 32-ish. Uh, he's done that once. Um, this is... A much better opportunity for him to do that. I'm going to say he's a three just because I don't totally trust his health. Um, but this could be a good game for him. No thanks on JR. Although, if you want to have him as a GPP punt on DK, that's fine. Uh, Jay Crowder is. Jay Crowder. <laughs> 4,000 on both sites. You would need him to get to 20. From time to time, he does it. Uh, he's just a 4. I don't have any real interest in Tristan Thompson. 4,700 on FanDuel. 4,400 on DK. Um, but I do want to look at Dwayne Wade. Uh, just a 4 on FanDuel. The price sucks, but DK, only 5,000. It'll be a three. Yeah, that's not bad. Orlando's just so bad on defense. Next, we go to the Hawks. Hawks and Grizzlies in a game in which no one should turn it on. Um, or just watch it in general. It's, it's so bad. So bad. Schroeder, 7,000 on FanDuel, 6,700 on DK. Um, you know what? I wonder if this would look any better. I think the spacing will be weird, but let's see. I don't like that. That's going to be annoying. Um, let's change this one option. I've always wanted to just look at this at the same time, so I need to think about it. Preserve cell formatting on update. Auto fit column with sun update. Okay. Good and good. The rest of this should be fine. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that won't be bad. So Schroeder needs... 35. He's only done that once in the past two weeks. Let's fix that filter. It's hard to get too excited about it, um, especially in this matchup. Um, I don't really want any part of it. It's hard to say no on DK. The four on DK. I don't really have any interest in Bazemore or Prince. 
Uh, Ursan Ilyasova, I guess, 4,500 on both sites. If he plays, um, I'd be willing to entertain it. Also, just a four. But otherwise, this isn't the game. Go to Memphis now. All right, Memphis. And I, I know I didn't say this before. Hawks 104 implied total is 12th. Grizzlies 101.5 would be 16th. This is just a, uh, a dreadful game. Um, one thing I would be interested in, though, is potentially Marc Gasol. 8,900 on FanDuel, 8,700 on DK. So you're looking 45. Um, he's only done it once, but Hawks, not the best defensive team. I'm going to say three. It would surprise me if I ended up on Marc Gasol, but I think that he's an option just because of the matchup. Um, and then next we're looking at Wayne Selden. Uh, 3,800 on FanDuel, 4,400 on DK. Um, I've got him projected for 30 minutes, which would be great. <laughs> uh, if he gets to 30 minutes, you got to figure he's going to be close to value. Um, I don't want to go too crazy. He's just a three again, but, you know, he could be a decent pump play if value doesn't pop up, on FanDuel at least. Same on DK, but, you know, 4,400 and increased flexibility. It's a little different. Andrew Harrison, uh, 5,400 on FanDuel, 5,000 on DK. So... <sighs> needs 27. I mean, he's in and around there every night. Chalmers expected to be back, so that kind of mutes him a little bit. I'm going to say that Andrew Harrison is just a 4 on DK. Again, there's there's only so much excitement for a Grizzlies matchup. Um, I don't really have much interest in Jamichael Green at that price. Yeah, that's probably it for me. Yeah, that's it. I don't see anything else there. Sorry, that was an exceptionally long pause. <laughs> Let's go to Brooklyn. Nets, 103.75 implied total is 14th, and they are hosting the Houston Rockets. 10-point underdogs at home. Uh, so, you know, this should be thrilling. I don't need to freeze pains anymore. Ah, yeah, I do. Freeze them down here, though. View, freeze pains, unfreeze pains, freeze pains. Alrighty. So, Damari Carroll, 5,300 on FanDuel, 5,600 on DK. Um, you know, had a bit of a stinker a couple nights ago, but you need him to get to 26 and a half. I've got him above that in value. Um, is he... Yeah, that makes sense. I liked Mark Carroll a lot here. I mean, not, you know, as, as much as you can like a guy on the net. But he's a three. And, you know, at that position, um, finding guys that you aren't upset about taking is sometimes difficult. Alan Crabb, 4,500 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DK. Um, yeah, not for me. I don't think anything else on here is for me. Ooh, get ready. Uh, I think, I think I heard, uh, Danny LaRue say that Saturday the Nets play the Pelicans, which would be an Okafor versus Okafor matchup, which I think is kind of fun. I don't think that there's anything else that I would want here. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just going to go straight to Houston. Hit me in the comments if you think that I'm missing something there. I don't think that I am. 
All right, Houston, 113.75 implied total. Uh, third on the night. Great matchup for them. Uh, you know, Brooklyn not exactly outstanding. Uh, I'm anxious to see. I'm hoping I could like Capella. Uh, James Harden is 11-2 on FanDuel, 11-6 on DK. So you're looking for, you know, somewhere in the 55 to 60 range for value. Um, he's had three games in the, four games in the 50s in the past two weeks, plus the uh, the 98-pointer. Um, you know, I, I like him a lot here. Brooklyn puts people on the line a lot. Obviously, James Harden is one of the best, if not the best, guys at getting himself to the line. So... Uh, I'm hoping there's enough value that comes out here tonight to get on to Harden and LeBron and then, uh, you know, fill out with value across the board. Probably not going to end up possible for me. Um, I'll be waffling back and forth between Harden and LeBron, I think. We'll see once I run through everything um, and where all the value is to start. But that would be the goal. So we'll see how we get there. Chris Paul, uh, 9,600 on FanDuel, 9,700 on DK. You know, we're going, trying to go just shy of 50. It's had two 50-pointers um, in the past two weeks. <sighs> He's just sort of all over the place. Makes for a really good GPP play. Um, I'd be a little nervous to have him tonight, but, you know, I would want exposure to him if I were playing multiple lineups. Eric Gordon, uh, I'm expecting him to be back, if that's the case, 5,400 on FanDuel, 6,000 on DK. Um, I don't really have much interest in him at all there. Uh, you would need 27, which he gets to from time to time, but um, just coming back off of the injury, you know, out for a half a game plus two full games, no, there's no need to force it. He's, it's not like he's at a price that's exceptional. Now, Clint Capella, 7,800 on FanDuel, 7,500 on DK. Uh, Brooklyn's been very bad against centers. Um, we would need 40 out of Capella. He's done that three times in the past two weeks. I, I like it a lot. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure that Capella... And um, and Harden stack really well. But let's check it out. If that's the case, then I would probably... That might be like the first spot that I lock in. And that might just take me out of the LeBron sweepstakes tonight. Yeah, very, very high positive correlation from Fantasy 5x5. And then if we take a look at it on Labs... That's... You know, a little negative on labs. So I'm going to take the gigantic positive and the slight negative and just say that it's a slight positive, which is fine by me. Um, I can't say that Capella is a two for me just because of his price. I can't, I can't get all the way there. Uh, but I think, I'm hoping that when I look at this the first time, there's enough Capella and Harden in my first runs that I could lock them in and move from there. And then P.J. Tucker, Ryan Anderson, I'm fine there. Uh, to the Knicks. Uh, Knicks 105 implied total. This game doesn't have a line. Uh, right now I have it as a pick. Uh, Knicks hosting the Bucks. Um, it's going to be middle of the pack regardless. So, Porzingis, 8,800 on FanDuel. 8,400 on DraftKings. Um, so needs 45. Had 56 in the last game. God, nose is so itchy. Uh, hit 45 here. Otherwise, just been in the mid 30s and has not been doing what you would like really be happy about. Not a great matchup. How has he been against Milwaukee in the past? I feel like they just played. No, I don't want to restore crunches. Yeah, they did just play, and he put up 30, and he hasn't been anything but Right, okay, now I remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have any interest, really, in Porzingis. Uh, Tim Hardaway, 
5,900 on both sites, so you're looking for 30. He's done it once. The rest of the games have been not good. Um, you know, no Malcolm Brogdon, but I don't think that matters. Yeah, I'm fine with passing there. Courtney Lee, 5,400. I guess he's a four. Oh my god, it's dry air. <laughs> ah. I just want somebody to like slap me across the face. But there's a couple people out there that probably want to do that. Cantor, 6,900, 7,300 on DK. Great offensive rebounder against Milwaukee. I think I had him a couple nights ago when they played, and he played really well, right? Yeah, put up 36. He's right at value. I don't have any reason to think that can't happen again. Um, yeah, I like Cantor. He's a three. Jarrett Jack needs 22 for value. Yeah, he's probably just a four. Let's go to Milwaukee. I'm anxious to see Giannis. Giannis. Well, we'll start with Middleton. Middleton fit 7,500 on FanDuel, 7,600 on DK. So we are looking for 38. Um, it's done it three times. Super boom bust. How did he play against them a couple days ago? Since I know everyone will mention performance the game before. Oh, bro, he only had 24.7 fantasy points, so he's going to have 24.7 fantasy points again tonight. Right. Uh, Chris Middleton. It's hard to get too excited. Uh, it's a four, but he could go off. You know, he has, he's got that ability. Giannis, 11.5 on FanDuel, 1100 on DK. Put up 58 when they played uh, a couple nights ago. Went to the line 12 times. That's the essential takeaway here, is if he gets to the line or not. Uh, he's just a three for me. Just because of LeBron's matchup, I would prefer Braun over Giannis. Antetokounmpo. Then Bledsoe, 7,300 on FanDuel, 7,000 on DK. Needs 36. Uh, had 40 in his last one. Had 44 two weeks ago. You know, injuries and stuff riddled in the middle. Um, he didn't play them last time, right? Oh, is, this the, is that the game that he got sunk? No, it's not. Well, sort of. Oh, fucking Bledsoe. Son of a bitch. All right. He's a three. Uh, he, it's a decent matchup for him. I don't want Snell. Uh, Henson would need 30. Hit 50 in his last game. You know, he was functional in the, the game against the Knicks. Uh, just a three. Jabari Parker. I wish you were going to play more minutes, brother. 4,100 on FanDuel. He'll probably be real close to value. Um, I only have him in for 19 minutes, so it's it's hard to stretch him out too far, but it's not a bad price on FanDuel. Guy can score. What's he going to do, go against, like, Beasley in the second unit? Come on. Raptors, 106.25 implied total is ninth. They are hosting the Boston Celtics. There's not a line on this game right now, um, but... I set that line at four and a half. Well, I don't think I'm going to like much here, but we'll see. Damar, 8,400 on FanDuel, 7,700 on DK. Whew. He's 42. Uh, he's had four games in the 40s in the past two weeks. It's not in the 40s, it's in the 20s, which is terrifying. 
Um, no mark is, excuse me, no mark is smart is helpful in that scenario. I'm going to say that I don't actually hate Demar as much as I would have thought. Still just a three. I mean, the Celtics in general are just a tough matchup, but, you know, got to look at him. Kyle Lowry, 7,000 on FanDuel, 7,200 on DK. Needs 35. Had a 52-point game on the 1st of February. Otherwise, hasn't hit this 35 mark. Hasn't even really been close. Um, I, I it's, you know, he's still a 3. I prefer DeMar to Kyle, I guess. But Kyle's price is just so much better on FanDuel. Deep down, he's still Kyle Lowry. Then Serge Ibaka... Um, you would have to think that Ibaka would get extra minutes here against Boston. 4,800 on FanDuel, 5,000 on DK. You need 25 out of him. Um, he's been in the teens for the past three games, but prior to that, you know, two games at value, two games in the 20s. He's a three. I sneaky like him as a value play. Um, Jonas is only in play on DraftKings. He's uh, 5,500. Um, that's, a, I think, a pretty good price for him. And he's been just filling up the stat sheet when he's been playing. Um, he would need 33 to hit 6x on DraftKings, which he's done four times uh, in the past two weeks. So, you know, I like it. Celtics now. As I mentioned at the beginning, um, I am projecting Kyrie to be in. So, yeah, obviously, if he's not in, that'll change things. Actually, it probably really wouldn't. Just sort of... It makes Terry Rozier more playable. I don't think he's very playable right now if Kyrie plays. So Kyrie, same price as DeMar, 8,400. Hasn't played in his last three. Would need 42, which he had done by all accounts in three or in four straight. You know, 40 and change, 45, 42, 41. He's a three. No more, no less. Al Horford, 7,700 on FanDuel, 8,000 on DK. You're still looking for 40 there. Uh, it's been really good without Kyrie. Even with Kyrie uh, earlier in this two-week stretch, two games in the 40s. Not a great matchup, but, you know, just a functionally okay center. <laughs> Brown and Tatum... Brown is 5,600 and 5,800, so you need 28. Only done it once. Tatum needs 30. Done that three times. Um, I'm going to say Jalen Brown is a four. Jason Tatum is a three. And I don't want Terry Rozier if Kyrie is back. 7,000 is just too expensive for him in that case. You would need 35, and you just can't guarantee the touches. That would be all I would want from uh, Boston. We move to Philly. Philly hosting the Wizards. Wizards on the back-to-back. -back. Fuck Bradley Beal. Uh, Sixers, six-point favorites at home. Sixth highest implied total. This should be fun. So we're looking at Ben Simmons to start. 8,500 on FanDuel, 8,200 on DK. We need 42 for value. He's hit that uh, four times in his past two weeks. Have they played recently? I feel like they did. Nope, I'm just wrong. They have played twice. Last time they played was in November. Ben Simmons went bananas. He shot 29 free throws? Is that a... Did he really have 31 and 18? 
Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I liked him before I saw all that ridiculous nonsense. I mean, he's not going to shoot... If that's not a glitch in <laughs> the, the box score data here, um, he's not going to shoot 29 free throws again. At least you wouldn't think. But Washington does put people on the line. So I'd be more than okay with Ben Simmons. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to him just from a salary perspective of where I like everybody else, but he'd be good in like an alternative lineup for me. Embiid, 10-1 on FanDuel, 9,500 on DK. So you're looking for 50. Uh, hasn't hindered at all in the past two weeks. He's really just not been um, scoring the way that you would expect. But all right, here's here's the the meta thoughts for this game. So if you know that Embiid is going to play 32 minutes, Marcin Gortat almost has to play, right? Like a lot. They they can't guard Embiid with. Markeith Morris or Mike Scott, he's gonna he's gonna eat them alive. Um, so I'm gonna say Embiid's a three. I think that he would go well with Simmons, but I have a sneaky suspicion that Washington's gonna look great, and I might need to make some tweaks now that I'm thinking about the game. Uh, Covington is 5,900 on Fanduel, 5,700 on DK. So we're looking for 30. He's had 30 in. I mean, we'll say four, four games in the past two weeks. It's not a bad matchup. Um, I I would be okay with Covington. Sarich, sixty-seven hundred and sixty-four hundred. I don't think I have a ton of interest in. He would need thirty-three-ish, which he's done quite a few times. But I don't see a lot of upside in his number for a GPP. I'm gonna say that he's just a four. No interest in Redick. Uh, TJ McConnell. I don't know why he's getting such little minutes now. God, my fucking nose is so itchy. 13 minutes in the last one. I just want to see him play more. That 3700 price tag is nice. But now let's think about this. All right, so I've got Gortat at 25 minutes. Eh, his salary's not the best. He's up at... He's up in the 5200 area. If he would have been down in like that 45 area that he's in sometimes, that would have been that would have been nice. How has he played against Philly this year? Played 20 minutes in the game that Simmons went ham, which I'm starting to think didn't include Embiid, but let's you know what, I need to figure that out. Um, but he did go crazy against them in October. Let's look up that Simmons game. When was that? November 29th, 11-29, Sixers, Wizards. Did Embiid play? He did play. Ben Simmons did shoot 29 free throws. I think I had him that night, actually. <laughs> okay. So Embiid played, Gortat played 21 minutes, not because of fouls. Mahinmi got 25 minutes. Mike Scott only played eight. Okay. All right, let's get through everybody else first, and then we'll think deeper about Gortat. Bradley Beal, I don't even want to look at this. 9,000 on FanDuel, 8,900 on DK. He needs 45. He put up 20 last night like a dick. <laughs> Three straight games um, at that number prior to that, of course. Um, dude just has a tendency to disappear. It's a great matchup for him, though. I I mean, I, mean, I like him. He, the, the matchup fits him. Um, the price is, you know, has me apprehensive, but he's a three. I won't end up with him. I'd rather just pay up for Harden, but I'm sure he's going to go for 50 or something like a complete asshole. Come Team John Wall. Auto Porter, 72. I'm just salty. Auto Porter, 7,200 on FanDuel, 7,100 on DK. Uh, you're looking for 35. 
two games in the low 30s, two games in the 40s. I don't really have any issue with Porter here. Finding out my small, my other small forward will be interesting tonight. Keith at 63, that's 31. Um, he's a four. No interest in Ubre or Sadaransky. So let's think about Gortat. 5,200. He needs 26. I don't think I could do it at that price. I wanted him to be... When did his price jump? Or maybe it didn't. Yeah, so like if, if this game happens two weeks ago or a week ago and he's 3,900 or even 4,300, I'd be like, okay, I'll take the shot on him getting the minutes to guard and beat, but... If he's going to be up at 5,200, the, they squeeze the value out of it. Okay. Golden State Warriors. 120 implied total. 10-point favorites at home versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. They have the number one implied total on the board. Whew. I wish this game wasn't at 1030. I won't see a single second of it, but I would love to watch it. All right. Draymond, 8,000 on FanDuel, 7,400 on DK. He needs 40. Um, only one game in the 40s in the past two-week stretch. Coming in on a couple days rest. How has he been against Oklahoma City in the past? Uh, as I suspected, probably relies a little bit more on his defense than normal. I'm going to say Draymond is a four. Durant. 10-7 on FanDuel, 9,800 on DK. I think Golden State is going to wax the shit out of them. Not having Roberson going to be a problem for them. Their defense has just been so bad without it. I don't know how they're going to slow him down. All right, Durant needs 55. He's at uh, 53 and a 67 in the past two weeks. Otherwise, not so much. Um... Didn't play exceptionally well against them the first time. Played well against them last year. Much different team now, obviously, with Paul George. Um, I'm going to say that he's a three on uh, DK, four on FanDuel. Don't really love it. I would prefer ooh, four on FanDuel. I would prefer LeBron and uh, Giannis to Durant. Clay, 6,700 on FanDuel, 6,300 on DK. So that's 33. Um, you know, had a 41-pointer, a 38-pointer. Can get hot. How did Clay do traditionally? Not very well in the first game. Played okay against them last year. Looks like this is going to be a Steph game. I like Clay's price. I'm going to say that he's a 3. Steph, 9,700, 9,600. So let's just say 50. Uh, he had a 48, a 51, and a 66. Last three haven't been anything spectacular. But, I mean, defensively, they just don't have anything to slow him down. You would assume Paul George guards Durant. Or Draymond on Durant. Oh, what am I saying? Oh, I'm putting him back on the... Juve Thunder. Yeah, Paul George has to guard Durant. So, I mean, Clay uh, Curry should just roast Westbrook. Does Westbrook get up for this? Uh, apparently Curry doesn't. I'm going to say Steph's a three. I, it's, it's hard to wade through all of this team. Somebody's going to go nuts. Iguodala, 3,800. Needs 20. I mean, these are the type of games, I would guess. Oh, yeah. Iggy. Yeah, I'll say he's a four. Keep him in mind. To OKC we go. Um, start with Russ. 11-8 <laughs> on FanDuel. 11-5 on DK. You're looking for 60. He's done it 
quite a few times in the past two weeks. What does Russ's history look like against Golden State? Went for 65 earlier this year, 260 pointers last year. Uh, never shies away from it. He's a three. Um, I can't overcommit there. I would prefer to have Harden in his matchup compared to Westbrook tonight. Paul George, 8,000 on FanDuel, 7,900 on DK. That's 40. Uh, he's got a 40, a 61, a 51, a 41, a 40. I think Paul George is the piece of this that I like the most. What did he do in the earlier matchup? I feel like he missed it. No, he didn't, but he put up 50 at a higher salary. Um, I'm going to say Paul George is a 2. I, I think that 40-point number is... It's not bad. Steven Adams, uh, 7,000 on FanDuel, 6,800 on DK. So you're looking for 35. One, two, three, four. Four games at that number or higher. Been above 30 in most of the others. I, I think I like Adams here. Put up 31 in the earlier matchup. Lower salary, though. I'll put him in as a three. And then finally, Mello at 6,000 or 6,300. So we're looking 30. Uh, he's done that quite a few times. Looks like three in the past two weeks. Probably not my, uh, my main event here. But I'd say that he's a three. Nothing else I want there. To the Lakers we go. Lakers, 111.75 implied total of fourth. Uh, five and a half point favorites against the Suns. Amazing matchup as per usual, so we'll see what we can get here. Brandon Ingram needs 35 points for value. Two over that number, one on that number. No sign of anybody being able to be um, you know, slowing him down. This should be the perfect Brandon Ingram game. Especially with Devin Booker out, I think this will be one of those Brandon Ingram games where Brandon Ingram thinks he's the best player on the floor. So I hope that he is assertive. I'm going to say he's a three. Josh Hart, uh, 5,000 on FanDuel, 4,700 on DK. So he needs 25. Um, last two games, both in the mid-30s, he's been getting a ton of minutes. Um, if you expect those minutes to continue, uh, Josh Hart's in a great spot. I'll say he's a three. Julius Randle, 7,600 on FanDuel, 6,800 on DK. DK price is amazing. Um, he needs 38. Hasn't hit that at all um, in the past two weeks. I'm going to say that he's a four on FanDuel. And a three on DK. KCP, 5,300 and 5,000, looking for 26. I don't have a ton of interest in this, but it's the uh, Suns, so you can't just say no. This is the one I want to know. Brooke Lopez, been getting minutes after after bitching. Uh, been playing well, played 35 minutes in the last game. He's now 6,000 on FanDuel, which sucks, but he's 5,100 on DK. Um... If you think that Brook Lopez is going to play 25 plus minutes, he's in a really, really good spot. Phoenix isn't going to slow him down. Um, it's a great matchup. I think he's going to show up a lot on the optimizer. I don't want to overreact yet, but I'm going to say that he's a three on FanDuel and a two on DK. And I can't imagine not having him on DK at 5,100 with the ability to play more than one center. Um, you can really make. A lot of value happened there. Let's go to Phoenix now. No Devin Booker. Let's save this quick before I ruin it. So first up is TJ Warren, 6,800 on FanDuel, 67 on DraftKings. You're looking for 35. Um, he's been in and around that outside of the stinker on the second, but 34, 33, 36, 37. Um, 
I, I don't know why I'm writing Devin Booker. <laughs> I guess because I was looking at him. But I like uh, I like TJ Warren a lot here. Um, I'm going to say he's a three. But of all the guys in that mid-tier at small forward, he might be my, my highest one. Although, you know, it could be Brandon Ingram. We'll see how it shakes out. Tyler Eulis, who is supposed to be starting with Booker out, 3,700 on FanDuel, 4,200 on DK. Um, the expectation is that he's going to play 30 minutes, and if he does, um, he's going to smash value. He's a two for me, straight across the board, especially against the Lakers. Josh Jackson, uh, 7,900 on, yeah, 5,900 on FanDuel and on DraftKings, so he needs 30 um, 31, 30, 39, 30, 33, um, no reason to not like that. He's a three. You can make a case for a two, probably like a two and a half. No thank you on Bender. Uh, Marquise Chris grades out, uh, decently. I don't know why I'm typing that up there. He is coming off a suspension for getting in an argument with a coach. Um, I've got him at 28, 25 minutes. I like his value at that number, but it does concern me a little bit. So then we have Tyson Chandler, 4,200. You would need 20. Um, he's a four for me. Alex Len, 4,300 on both sides. Uh, he would need a little over 20. If he plays, I'd be okay with it. It's a big list for tonight. I don't know how, what the balance is going to end up being positionally. I guess let me take a look at it and I'll be able to tell. So I think I'm going to see a lot of Russ, although Harden is by leaps and bounds the only shooting guard in my opinion. I think that I could safely get off of LeBron, even though I like him a lot, um, for a George Hazonia combo. Um... There's decent value of power forward. And then center, you know, I would like to go Capella, but could get all the way down to, uh, you know, Brooke Lopez if need be. But I think I'm anxious to see the split between Harden and Westbrook on FanDuel. I have my thoughts. I think that Harden will get enough of a boost because of the scarcity at shooting guard, which is my hope. I don't want to force it. All right, here we go. 10, 100, and bam. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of Harden. I like it. So Tyler Eulis is up first with Harden, which means I need to go Hazonia. Telling me I should probably go Wayne Selden. I'm surprised of so little of Paul George. What does that lineup look like? Russ, Eulis, Harden, Selden, George, Hazonia, Simmons, Crowder, Spade. Yeah, there's no fucking way I'd have that lineup. Oops, lost it. So, Euless, Harden, Hazonia. There are four LeBron lineups. Len, Len, Spates, Len. Can't go that direction then. Um, no Capella, which is f weird. Only in two lineups to start. It's... I assume yeah, predominantly Brooke Lopez. Too much spates, in my opinion. So Lopez and Embiid would be my main looks there. What do the Capella lineups look like? Kyrie, Eulis, Hardaway, Warren, Carroll. Okay, so I don't hate that for a GPP. And I don't hate this for a GPP. 
So I can get there on a Capella lineup. That one doesn't have Harden. I'd prefer Harden to Capella. So it would be Euless, Harden, Hazonia. By default, Brooke Lopez. And I'd be looking at one of those five as a placeholder. I wouldn't want to go Chris Paul. Um... I think, I think this first one would be where I would be, and then I would probably, I would probably lock Russ and Euless, Harden, I'd, uh, I'd lock Selden, Hazonia, and Brooke Lopez. I wouldn't want Crowder, so I would probably run 50 on that. Sorry, I'm digging a little deeper here, but I just want to see what it looks like. Because I would want to get off of, I wouldn't want to use Crowder. And I would probably need to spend down from Simmons to do that. So, you know, like, I don't necessarily trust Chris enough when that late of a game. So I would want to look at... Maybe something like that. Saric and Ibaka, you know, nothing crazy. It's going to be tough to figure out power forward, I think. I thought it was going to be easier than that. If I do Simmons and Ibaka, what are the options? Crab, Jonathan Simmons, or Prince? I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I think I say that every day, though, so... I mean, news is going to open something up. If you can get one piece of value in at power forward, that's going to be ginormous tonight. But as of right now, it seems as though I'll be going James Harden for sure as my stud. At least one of studs. Uh, depending on the amount of value that opens up, you know, we could certainly have two. Alrighty, advanced options, randomness 10. We'll do 50 because DraftKings is slower, and boom. Yeah, lots of Hazonia, lots of Tyler Eulis. Draymond. I expected more Brooke Lopez. So, Eulis, Hazonia, Brooke Lopez. That should open up all sorts of value plays oh, so they're going pretty balanced Embiid Simmons stack which I think would be pretty interesting um, let's look at my DK list Harden LeBron Paul George Brooke Lopez his own Eula so you can get those bottom three easy then it's Harden Braun or Paul George No Harden shows up left. There's some Paul George and some LeBron. So let's look at Paul George first. So that's Kyrie, Fournier, George, Randall, Lopez, Eulis, Green, Hazonia. Don't mind that at all. I'd be okay with most of those. What does it look like if I go... LeBron instead. So that was Euless, Hazonia, Brooke Lopez, LeBron James. Uh, man, so much Crowder. I just don't like it. I'd want to find somebody else at that price. That's not horrible. It's going to take some massaging, though. Uh, I, thought, I thought having... Hazonia, Euless, and Lopez would open stuff up, but it doesn't really. All right, that's it for me. Um, I will be live tonight, starting at 6. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't publicize it, so I guess no one saw it. But um, I put a schedule out. So on my main site, um, I'm going to put a schedule out each, uh, each Monday so that everybody knows what's going on. So I've got it out through Sunday. And I'll have links to um, each video from each day as well. 
So tonight I will be live. Uh, no live stream tomorrow. The wife will come home from Boston, so I, I just won't be going live. And then we'll be live Thursday and Friday. No live streams on the weekends. But that is the uh, that's the schedule for the rest of the week. So you guys know the drill. Uh, like, subscribe, f uh, check out Patreon, check out Twitter, um, check out the Reddit DFS, and uh, I will see you guys again uh, later tonight. Bye-bye.